Hey guys, welcome back. It's Charlie. Uh, it's Saturday. Saturday morning? Yeah, it's still Saturday morning. Almost noon. <clears throat> I had to come out to Dewarty again. Get a couple of things that I needed. I like coming out here. I don't come out, out here as often as I'd like to. And not that there's a whole lot out here, but I, I, I once in a while I'll come out here to the Walmart and get some things that um, are extensively a lot less than Target. And Target's like the only thing to, the only really place to get whatever it is basically you need in Pasadena. And Target's pretty expensive, I find. Or as it's commonly referred to as Target Nouveau, but um, yeah, I had to come out here. I'm done. Didn't see no weirdos. Uh, some almost half-naked ladies dressed, but nothing like in some of those uh, crazy or weird people shopping at Walmart videos that you see like on here on YouTube and stuff like that. Every time I come here, I, I kind of hope that um, I do see something and I have cell phone in hand ready to film something, but I've yet to, to see anything. Yeah, my, uh, my ex-wife and I and my daughter and I used to, used to live here, kind of down the street, down, down ways over there. After being homeless, living in our... Uh, truck for almost what well, seemed like an eternity uh, maybe three months I believe my best guess and uh, Duarte's our, our first place we got our studio actually towards up that direction towards near near Bradbury and then we got another studio and uh, moved down towards this side of the 210 From here, we ended up in Pasadena. Heaven help us and heaven help me now, especially stuck in Pasadena. But it's a beautiful day, it's really warm. I'm making my way back up to, um, to the bus stop. I got what I needed. Save a whole lot of money. Gotta, see, Gotta stretch my money. It never seems to go far enough, especially when your budget is, all you have to work with is $200 every month as far as a cash flow. And uh, my real needs and what I need is a little bit more than $200 a month. So. Necessity, so sometimes I have to go without quite a bit of stuff and I have to juggle. I really hate juggling finances. Um, I'm pretty good at it when I stick to it, but it's still pretty difficult. When uh, we used to live out here in Duarte almost 10 years ago, God, almost 10 years ago, that's a long time. It goes by so fast. Duarte wasn't really all that um, popular. We had a Target, we had a tiny little shopping center. We had Carl's Jr. We had Cabrera's restaurant where um, we used to eat Saturdays or Sundays. She loved that restaurant. Great Mexican restaurant, great food. And uh, now they have Staples. Best Buy, all sorts of stuff. I mean, they have a Sonic down the street. <clears throat> Never for once figured that it would actually grow to be anything. I thought it was gonna go to the wayside, but it got popular. This is Huntington and Mountain. This is like the main drag, the main intersection. 
Tommy's Burgers over there if anybody is familiar with Tommy's Burgers. Good chili burgers. Eh, not so much actually anymore. I feel like they've changed the recipe. Can't afford Tommy's. Have to settle for a simple hamburger at McDonald's. I don't eat much. You know, did, did I mention to you guys that, um, it's funny because my friends and I were talking about it last night. To look at me, would you ever think that I used to weigh 301 pounds? I'm like five foot three, five foot four. And I tipped the scale at uh, 301 pounds. Yes, sir, Bob. 2004, I had uh, gastric bypass surgery. Which kind of makes life out here a bit interesting because actually I'm supposed to be eating like six small meals a day and I can't. I don't have that luxury. I don't have the means of, of doing that. If I were to have six small meals a day, that would completely blow my budget. So that's why I have to take vitamins as a supplement and those are expensive. Vitamins are so expensive. 15 to 20 bucks for like a, if I get it on sale, I could probably get a two month supply for about 20 bucks. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? So, and I'm supposed to be eating properly, which I don't. So, uh, my weight tends to fluctuate between about 138 to 148, give or take. So, it's definitely difficult. It's definitely difficult. And Monrovia is just right over there. I don't know if you can see the sign right there. Um, I, I like it out here. I don't want to say I'd rather be here. Well, yeah, actually, I guess if I had more choice, I could guess that I would want to be homeless in uh, Duarte. It's not like I want to pick up and just, oh, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to Duarte or Monrovia and be homeless there. I just don't want to be homeless, period. But uh, Duarte's a lot better. People are a lot better, friendlier. Lifestyle's a little bit more laid back. Not as stressful. Crazy, isn't it? Comparing the differences. Hearing it from me, but yeah. Well, guys, I think, judging by the 187 eastbound, that my bus should be coming in a few minutes. I'm going to end the video here. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday. Uh, we have Coldplay again tonight for the last night coming in. And uh, it was pretty pretty busy yesterday. There was a lot of traffic in town. So, again, hopefully uh, if you guys are in town catching Coldplay, that's cool. Make a comment. Let me know uh, that you were in town and uh, we're here to see Coldplay. All right, guys, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Always take care of yourselves first before you can take care of another person. Love each other. Respect each other. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Pull down on your pants. Slide on the ice. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hopefully these homeless in Pasadena series will come to an end by some miracle whether I get housing or Charlie just happens to win the lottery I'd rather be the latter I'd rather be the latter because several people that I would like to help with uh, with lottery winnings and I would like to set up some sort of something for homeless people I'd like to start my own um, nonprofit or something still been playing it with in my mind for, for quite a while what would I would do to help the homeless so and uh, get my kids back try to try to hook up and reconnect with my kids so definitely my kids are the number one priority so anyway folks I love you all have a beautiful spectacular Saturday when I get back into town I will upload this video and uh, take care of yourselves.
I shall see you tomorrow, okay? Love you all. Take care. Bye.